How to Bathe a British Short Hair Part 2 Washing Your Cat 1. Speak reassuringly as you lower your cat into the water. If she starts to panic, grasping her scruff may help to reassure her since doing this has a naturally subduing effect on cats. Stay calm and speak softly at all times because your cat will take her cues from you and if you are stressed, she'll be stressed too. 2. Let your cat settle into the bathtub before you begin washing her. Allow her to settle and become used to the feel of warm water against her legs and belly. You may need to gently restrain her by holding her shoulders, to stop her jumping straight out of the tub. 3. Rinse her fur with water. Once she relaxes, use your hands to drizzle water over her back and shoulders. As she starts to accept this, you can pick up the jug and use this as a scoop to thoroughly wet her coat. Don't forget to soak her neck and brisket areas. Take care not to get water in her ears or eyes. In theory, putting cotton wool in her ears should work to stop water from entering her ear canals, but cats are likely to shake the cotton straight out so doing this is likely to be a waste of time. 4. Decide whether or not you are going to shampoo you cat. With an indoor cat it is not always necessary to use a shampoo since her coat is unlikely to be heavily soiled. Simply rinsing her with water should do the trick. However, for show cats or those who roam, use a shampoo specifically designed for cats. Ideally, choose a shampoo that is not perfumed, because cat skin is very sensitive, and does not contain insecticides, which are potentially irritant. 5. Lather the shampoo into your cat's coat. Pour a small amount of shampoo into your palm. Dip the fingers of the opposite hand into the shampoo in order to apply small volumes evenly all over your cat. Once you have applied all the shampoo, use your fingertips to massage it into the wet coat and raise a lather. Once again, don't forget to work around your cat's neck, throat and brisket areas, but avoiding getting shampoo into her ears or eyes. 6. Rinse the shampoo out of your cat's fur. Scoop up water from the sink with the jug you have been using. Hold the jug close to your cat and pour a steady stream over her skin and fur. Repeat this multiple times until your cat's coat appears lather free. 7. Give your cat's hair a final rinse with the sink faucet. Move the cat to one side of the sink. Remove the plug to let the soiled water drain away. Pick up the shower attachment and turn on the faucets to a low to moderate flow of water. The water's temperature should be pleasantly warm. Run the water over your cat's fur until the water coming out of her fur is clear.